I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. If you are new, subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss everything right here. We give you exclusive news around the world of football. What is going on? And yeah, we enjoy. So if you like it, enjoy. And yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Let's move on. Now, area on, I gave you the news about love your injury. It looks like it's not a good news. I will say, other people, they will think, you know, that's not bad because Chelsea, you know, they have a good doctors and everywhere. As I said, area on, do we have a good doctors? <laughs> if we had a good doctors, right, people, they'll get, they will not get injury like this. So, yeah, let me show you another update on Romeo Lavia. Check out this. Chelsea fear Romeo Lavia will be sidelined for an extended period after the midfield suspected ankle injury was assessed on Friday. That is bad, you know? I'm thinking this guy is gonna go for three or four months. I just hope and pray this guy comes back so quickly. We don't have a defensive midfield this season. But there is another information I have. There is a way for a defensive midfield. And yeah, I'll show you. Let's check first on uh, Chukumeka update. As you know, Chukumeka has gone for injury too, right? So. Check out this. Can Chukumeka are set for another month on the sideline after damaging his knee? In the more positive news, Trava Charaba and Bad Cherry are nearing returns and Amanda Broja is building up his fitness. That is good to hear. Up to absolutely good news. Amanda Broja coming back and Chukumeka, you know, another <laughs> sidelines over there. It's not a good news on that one, but Charaba and the other guys, Amanda Broja, that's a good news. Now, as I said, I got some hope about the defense midfield. Who is that? Let's check out this one. Leslie Okachuke could end up becoming a crucial member of our rotation in the next few weeks if he plays his cards right. None of Inzo, Casado and Garaga seems fully comfortable as the deep six that was meant to be Lavio's slot, but his injury opens the door for Lesri Ukwachukwe. That's good, I think. You know, we may see another jo John Hobi Mikel. <laughs> you know, I remember those days, John Hobi Mikel and Jose Mourinho. When Jose Mourinho called Joby Hobi Mikel, you know, come on, you know. And he's giving him like some instruction on the paper. If Chelsea are reading 1-0 against Manchester City or Manchester United, when you see that paper and the pain on Jose Mourinho and then Hobi Mikel stand up, you know the game is over. We will win 1-0. That's it was like that. And a lot of people, right, they were just complaining about that. How this guy played defensive football all the time. It doesn't matter. If you play defensive football, you're winning one nil every weekend, you are winning one nil. You win the league. <laughs> You're not losing. You're winning. So who cares? I miss those days. From Jose up to this manager we had, nobody did anything. They're all playing three in the back. Like we are tired of that. Very tired. So Rezuru Ukachukwe, I think, you know, he'll become a defensive midfield. As I said on Lomino Lavia, I'm scared he's going to go for two, three months. And that's bad. As I said again, I hope that is not a case. <laughs> we don't want that. So let's try Mr. Okachukwe. Maybe it's gonna be, you know, you never know. As I said, we may see Joby Ho John Hobby Mikel again at Chelsea. <laughs> and it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. Now it looks like we have a new sponsor on our hands. What is it? Check out this. Infinite Athlete will be on the FOS sponsor this season for a deal worth 43 million. Will then become the sliver sponsor from the 2024-2025 season. With Leon here then becoming potential FOS Kyan offered 38 million for this season. FOS then came close. That information came from Lucas. We have another news, check out this. 
According to Lucas, from next season, Infinite Athlete will become a slave sponsor. Wow, Chelsea tried to secure a front of shit sponsorship deal worth up to 60 million PA if they qualify for the Champions League. That is very, very intense, I have to say. <laughs> We have to qualify for the Champions League. Otherwise, we'll be in the mud. We'll be in the mud and that's not good. Right now, we look shaky. We look like we don't know what we're doing. We look, we have, we, we, we look like we went one of the planets somewhere and we cannot see the Earth. You know, in the sky, there's so many planets. So when you go to those planets, you can be lost sometimes. You know, you go you go to Mars and you leave Earth. You don't know where to go back. This is how Chelsea are right now. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but hey, I think that makes sense, right, guys? I think you agree with me. Anyway, Chelsea, yeah, we have to qualify for the Champions League. Otherwise, as I said, we'll be sleeping outside. <laughs> it's so crucial right now. If you look, City, Liverpool, Liverpool, they are playing Champions League. No, they are playing Europa League. Man United, Tottenham, they are not playing Champions League. But the other team, Arsenal, they are in the Champions League. And they look fantastic. So Chelsea, we have to qualify for the Champions League. Let's hope, finger crossed, we do that. And then we have this sponsor next season. Now, the next season shirts, there's a link came out. The colors, here they are. Official, the colors of the Nike Chelsea FC 2024-2025 home JZ are rush blue, team orange, white. And then when you look down there, Chelsea 2024-2025 home kit information linked. So it's orange and blue. I think I like that. I like the orange and I don't think orange is new in the Chelsea history JZ, you know. I think we had orange before. I remember one of the season back in the days we had orange. I don't remember exactly what was that, but I think we did. So let's see. If you wanna buy the shirts without a sponsor, it's time to do that, I think. <laughs> I would try to find one. I would try. Those one looks good. I'm not saying the sponsorship won't look good out there, but I think, it's good to buy one without a sponsor, right? Without infinite athletes, just to have it to remember. We started with this and now we have a sponsorship on our chest. <laughs> so let's see how this is gonna go. Let me know down in the comment, guys, what do you think about this new sponsorship of Chelsea Football Club? I think it's gonna be good. And let me know about Rezu Kachukwe becoming a defensive midfield. Romeo Lavia on the bench injury and it's not good news. And yeah, this is where we end it. I'll see you very, very soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are. And don't forget to subscribe to Isaac Football Club so you can receive all the exclusive news right here, right here. You'll find me standing at the same place, different time, as always, right? Have a lovely day and remember, God bless.